Welcome to our Hong Kong Brief Show. Today, we kick off with the shocking news from Singapore, where former Transport Minister S. S. Warren has pleaded guilty to accepting gifts in a corruption case. Initially facing a mountain of charges, he now has just a handful to contend with as his trial unfolds. This scandal has raised eyebrows and questions about integrity in public office. In other news, China is raising retirement ages to tackle its pension crisis, but experts warn that this may not be enough to solve the underlying issues. With a declining workforce and an aging population, the country is facing a demographic dilemma that could have long-lasting effects on its economy. It seems like more reforms are on the horizon. And finally, in a bright spot for investors, Hong Kong's stock market has taken a leap following China's announcement allowing bank loans for stock buybacks. The Hang Seng Index has seen its largest gain in two months, signaling a potential turnaround in the equity market. It's an exciting time for investors as the market responds positively to supportive measures. Please continue to watch for more detailed content. South China Morning Post reports that Singapore's former transport minister, S. S. Warren, has pleaded guilty to charges of accepting gifts while in office, with a total of 30 other corruption-related charges being set aside during a dramatic trial. The courtroom proceedings took a swift turn as prosecutors reduced Aswaran's initial 35 charges to just four related to gift acceptance and one for obstructing justice. Aswaran, who has consistently maintained his innocence since the legal proceedings began, faced accusations of receiving gifts worth approximately 400,000 Singapore dollars, 308,800 US dollars, including tickets to prestigious events and luxury items, allegedly from property tycoon Ong Bing Singh and businessman David Lum Kok Singh. The case highlights the stringent regulations against public servants accepting valuables in Singapore, with potential penalties including jail time and hefty fines. Japan Times discusses the pressing issue of retirement reforms in China, emphasizing that while the government's decision to raise retirement ages is a step towards addressing significant pension deficits and a declining workforce, further reforms are urgently needed. The challenges are exacerbated by the legacy of China's one-child policy, which has contributed to a stark demographic shift. With birth rates plummeting to 9 million last year and projections indicating a nearly 40% decline in the working age population by 2050, economists and demographers warn that the current reforms may not be sufficient to tackle the looming pension crisis amidst a slowing economy. In a positive turn for investors, South China Morning Post highlights a significant jump in Hong Kong stocks following China's announcement that listed companies and major shareholders will be allowed to borrow from banks for stock buybacks and stake increases. This measure, part of a broader effort to strengthen the equity market and the economy, saw the Hang Seng Index rise by 2.2 percent, marking its largest gain in two months. Major companies like China Merchants Bank and e-commerce giant JD.com experienced notable increases in their stock prices. The announcement was made by Pan Gong Sheng, governor of the People's Bank of China, who also indicated plans to further support the property market through lower down payment ratios and mortgage rate cuts. South China Morning Post reports that the Spirit of Hong Kong Awards 2024 has announced 27 finalists who exemplify the spirit of community service and dedication to improving the lives of others. Established in 2013, the awards celebrate unsung heroes across various categories, including new additions such as nurturing and entrepreneurship. Daryl Ng Win Kong, Deputy Chairman of Sino Group, emphasized the importance of recognizing these individuals for their quiet yet impactful contributions to society. The stories of the finalists highlight their resilience and creativity, from supporting people with disabilities to promoting local culture through innovative performances. The awards aim to inspire further acts of kindness and commitment to the community, with the winners to be revealed in December. In a creative approach to combat food waste, the JW Marriott Hotel Hong Kong has introduced a unique dish featuring fish bone pasta, as reported by South China Morning Post. 
with Hong Kong generating a staggering 3,300 tons of food waste daily, the hotel's executive chef Tony Wong Chichen devised a plan to repurpose fish bones left over from meals. By transforming these bones into pasta, the hotel not only minimizes waste but also surprises guests with sustainable dining options. Wong's efforts extend beyond fish bones, finding uses for various food scraps, which has significantly reduced the hotel's waste output. This innovative initiative reflects a growing commitment to eco-conscious practices in the culinary world. The newly merged Adelaide University is set to strengthen its ties with Hong Kong, as highlighted by South China Morning Post. Co-Vice Chancellors Peter Hodge and David Lloyd aim to enhance partnerships with local universities to attract Hong Kongers to their programs. With a history of collaboration and a focus on providing cutting-edge curricula, the university is optimistic about its appeal to students from Hong Kong, especially in fields like aviation and health sciences. Despite a slight dip in student visa applications from Hong Kongers, the university is committed to engaging with this market, particularly among mature students seeking further education. The merger is expected to facilitate more substantial interactions and opportunities for students, reinforcing Australia's status as a preferred destination for higher education. South China Morning Post discusses the recent interest rate cut by the U.S. Federal Reserve, which has significant implications for global markets, particularly in Hong Kong and Singapore. The Fed's decision to lower rates is aimed at mitigating a potential economic slowdown, prompting the Hong Kong Monetary Authority to follow suit by reducing its main rate. While this move is expected to make borrowing cheaper and potentially benefit the property market, experts remain cautious. Morgan Stanley predicts only a modest recovery in house prices due to various challenges, including high unsold inventory and a mismatch between supply and demand. In contrast, Singapore's property market, despite facing its own issues with speculative demand, is buoyed by rising private home values and a competitive mortgage landscape, showcasing the complexities and differences between the two markets. South China Morning Post highlights the evolving trend of drone shows in Hong Kong, which have become popular for public celebrations. With the National Day festivities set to feature a combination of drone displays and fireworks, industry leaders emphasize the need for creativity in content to keep audiences engaged. Despite the success of recent shows, such as those featuring the beloved character Doryman, experts argue that the government should ease restrictions to foster innovation in drone performances. The logistical challenges faced by organizers due to multiple regulatory bodies are noted as a barrier to the growth of this entertainment form. As tourism rebounds, there is optimism that drone shows will enhance the visitor experience, but a call for more diverse and imaginative content is essential to ensure their long-term appeal. South China Morning Post provides a guide to the best deodorants for autumn, catering to those seeking effective and skin-friendly options. The selection includes Aesop's Herbal Deodorant, known for its refreshing blend of essential oils and sage leaf, and Drunk Elephant's Sweet Pity, which is rich in moisturizing shea butter. Each product is designed to combat odor without leaving sticky residues or stains, appealing to a wide range of preferences. Other notable mentions include Sisley's Eau de Campagne and Malin Plus Getz's Eucalyptus Deodorant, both praised for their unique scents and effective formulations. This autumn, consumers are encouraged to explore these top-rated deodorants that promise both freshness and comfort, making daily routines a little more enjoyable. <music> Yahoo US, Jonathan Sitt, the regional general manager of 115 Marina in Singapore, emphasizes the importance of personal interactions in fostering trust with affluent clients. Drawing from his extensive experience in high-end hospitality, Sid advocates for face-to-face -face communication over emails, especially when addressing grievances. He recalls instances where clients, initially hostile and threatening legal action, transformed into loyal patrons after engaging in candid discussions. 
by prioritizing personal connections and resolving issues in person, SID effectively shifts the dynamic from conflict to collaboration, reinforcing the value of human interaction in the luxury service sector. South China Morning Post, the Nano and Advanced Materials Institute, NAMI, in Hong Kong is poised to expand its research and development services to the Greater Bay Area, a move aimed at enhancing collaboration and innovation among SMEs. CEO Andy Fung highlights the Institute's commitment to supporting local companies by providing access to advanced technology and expertise. With a robust laboratory space and a talented team, NAMI has already made significant contributions in various sectors, including energy and healthcare. Fung's vision for NAMI includes not only local applications but also the potential for international partnerships, ensuring that Hong Kong remains at the forefront of technological advancements. South China Morning Post Chinese cooking is rich in flavors, driven by a variety of spices that have historical significance and health benefits. The article explores five popular spices, starting with San Ginger, known for its digestive properties and its role in traditional dishes like San Ginger chicken. Chinese Kasha, closely related to cinnamon, is valued for its medicinal qualities, while star anise, with its distinct shape and flavor, has been a staple in Chinese cuisine for over 3,000 years. Turmeric, celebrated for its anti-inflammatory benefits, and five-spice powder, which balances the five basic tastes, further illustrate the integral role of spices in enhancing both the taste and health aspects of Chinese dishes. South China Morning Post, Will Reeve, son of the iconic Superman actor Christopher Reeve, is making headlines as he steps into the spotlight with a cameo in the upcoming Superman film starring David Cornsweet. This role not only showcases his resemblance to his father, but also serves as a heartfelt tribute to the legacy of the original Man of Steel. Will, who has faced significant loss in his young life, including the passing of both parents, has emerged as a sports journalist and an ambassador for the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation, dedicated to improving the lives of those with paralysis. Despite his famous lineage, Will strives to forge his own identity, emphasizing the importance of hard work and integrity instilled in him by his parents. His recent viral underweargate incident during a Good Morning America segment, where he humorously appeared in shorts while on air, adds a relatable touch to his public persona. The Independent, a recent incident aboard a Cathay Pacific flight has sparked outrage and led to a couple being banned from future travel with the airline. The couple was involved in a heated dispute over a reclining seat, which escalated to verbal and physical altercations with another passenger. The situation unfolded when a woman refused to adjust her seat after the couple claimed it obstructed their view of the in-flight television. The altercation drew attention on social media, highlighting the ongoing debate over airplane etiquette, particularly regarding seat reclining. Cathay Pacific has since reiterated its zero-tolerance policy for disrespectful behavior, emphasizing the need for a respectful travel environment. The incident serves as a reminder of the challenges of confined spaces and differing expectations among passengers during air travel. South China Morning Post, Hollywood actor Michael Madsen has filed for divorce from his estranged wife, Deanna Madsen, amid allegations of domestic violence and accusations that her behavior contributed to the tragic suicide of their son, Hudson. The couple, who married in 1996, faced a tumultuous relationship marked by struggles, including Deanna's alleged alcoholism. Following Hudson's death, Madsen expressed his devastation, stating he had no indication of his son's struggles prior to his passing. The divorce filing comes in the wake of Madsen's own legal troubles, including a recent domestic battery charge against Deanna. The situation reflects the complexities of family dynamics in the face of personal tragedies and underscores the importance of mental health awareness. Resources for those in crisis are highlighted, emphasizing the need for support in difficult times. Thank you for tuning in.
The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. News breaks, buzz the ground, stories spin, walls come down, voices merge in the sound, faces mix in the crowd, broadcasters paint the scene, world events on our screen, every link a different theme, words collide in the stream, six degrees connect the dots, background stories more than not. Across the globe, spin the threads in a stroke. Every story wears a robe, truth and lies in their code. Journalist, dig real deep, secrets out, they don't sleep. Every angle they will keep, in the news we take a leap. New perspectives day by day, hidden truths come to play. In the background, shades of gray, every story.